अलग नाजी में हूँ आपके मेज़बान राजा कामरान और इस वक्त मैं मौजूद हूँ यूनाइट नेशनस हेड क्वार्टर में और आज की सेरेमनी के हवाले से मैं बताता चलूँ आज जो है वो हैंडिंग ओवर चेयरमैनशिप जी सेवेंटी सेवन एंड चाइना की जो थी वो अब क्यूबा को जो है वो शिफ्ट हो गई है हैंडिंग ओवर सेरेमनी थी और पाकिस्तान के फॉरेन मिनिस्टर भुट्टो जरदारी जो हैं वो स्पेशली जो है वो खिताब करेंगे आज के इस यूएन एन क्वार्टर में जो है ये जो सेरेमनी चल रही है इस हवाले से सो वो भी हम आपको दिखाएंगे और उसके अलावा यहाँ पे हम आपको क्विक वॉक राउंड भी दिखाएंगे यूनाइटेड नेशन हेड क्वार्टर का ताकि वो लोग जो कि पहली दफ़ा ये वीडियो के थ्रू जो है वो यूनाइट नेशन का नाम तो वो सुनते रहते होंगे यूनाइट नेशन हेड क्वार्टर का भी नाम वो सुनते रहते होंगे लेकिन उन्होंने कभी वो विजिट नहीं किया होगा देखा नहीं होगा पर्सनली अमेरिका में आने का उनको मौका नहीं मिला होगा सो इस वीडियो के थ्रू जो है हमारी कोशिश होगी कि हम उन तमाम लोगों के लिए जो है वो एक आई ओपनर बने ताकि वो लोग देख सकें कि किस तरह से जो है वो यूनाइटेड नेशन हेड क्वार्टर में जो है वो जनरल असम्बलीस के जो है वो सेशंस चल रहे होते हैं और कॉन्फ्रेंस और मीटिंग्स चल रही होती हैं सो आज का ये जो प्रोग्राम है वो स्पेशली उन तमाम नए लोगों के लिए जो है वो बहुत ही फ्रूटफुल साबित होगा सो स्टेट विद दस राजा कामरान जो है वो आपको जो है वो आज के इस प्रोग्राम के हवाले से जो है वो मजीद जो है वो अपडेट प्रोवाइड करते रहेंगे और हमारी कोशिश होती है कि आपको इसी तरह जो है वो अपडेट रखें सो स्टेट में जाए इन चाइना इट इज माय प्लेजर टू कॉल टू ऑर्डर दिस फर्स्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ दिस सेरेमोनियल मीटिंग आई विश टू वॉर्मली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एंड विश यू ए हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस न्यू ईयर His Excellency Mr Bilawal Bhutto Zardari Minister of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan was unable to join us on this occasion in person but he will address the ceremony through a pre-recorded statement Your Excellency President Miguel Diaz Canel of Cuba Your Excellency President of the General Assembly Your Excellency Secretary General Antonio Guterres Your Excellency Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez Perella of Cuba Excellencies dear colleagues it is my honor today to transfer the chair of the group of 77 in China to my dear friend the Foreign Minister His Excellency Bruno Rodriguez Perella of Cuba it has been a great it is a great honor and a privilege for me and for Pakistan to preside over the group in New York during the past year i thank the 135 members of the group for reposing their trust and confidence in Pakistan's chairmanship in these challenging times i wish to thank the un secretary general deputy secretary general the undp administrator under secretary general un dessa and the un office of south south cooperation and the G77 secretariat for their support and assistance to Pakistan during the chairmanship of the group the group of 77 in china is the largest group within the united nations it is a vital stakeholder in the international economic system it is the principal engaging propelling positive change in international economic relations to end poverty in all nations and promote greater equality and justice among them Pakistan has had the privilege to chair uh, the group of 77 in China three times in the past. However, leading the group this year is our nation's collectively confronted the perfect storm of mul- multiple external shocks of COVID, climate and conflict was especially challenging and yet rewarding. Our group responded to the poly crises of food, fuel and financial facing developing countries with collective vision. determination and unity the group of 77 and china has been proud of its unified and collective response to multiple and cascading crises the group has led the way in formulating and securing an agreement on the urgent and systemic responses required to overcome these multiple challenges at the financing for development forum in april the group secured an agreement on measures for financing recovery from the crises and achieving the sdgs at the high level political forum last july, last july the group collectively negotiated the means of implementation for achieving the sdgs in the current difficult decade of action 
at the 77th session of the UN General Assembly, the group was able to secure consensus for action on major economic, financial, development, and environmental issues. At COP27, through our mutual and collective endeavors, the group was able to achieve a historic decision for the establishment of the Loss and Damages Fund. And, the, and at the ministerial conference of our group last month, we agreed on an outcome document which sets out our positions on the immediate and structural measures that are essential to alleviate the food, fuel, and financial crisis confronting our countries and to reform the global economic architecture in order to achieve the sustainable development goals and implement Agenda 2030 and the, and the Paris and other environmental agreements. These demonstration of the unity of the group and its capacity for collective action are a clear signal that acting together, we can achieve the decisions required to overcome the challenges to our development and prosperity which arise from external impacts and an unequal international economic system. To this end, the group must maintain its unity, coordination, and collective action. It must secure implementation of the positions the group has set out in the outcome document adopted last month, including at the SDG summit, at COP28, and in the several other processes and meetings scheduled in 2023. Some of the actions we have proposed need to be urgently implemented. Debt relief and, re and restructuring for the 60 members of our group who are in debt distress. Rechanneling of unutilized SDRs to provide fiscal space and liquidity as needed by over 100 developing countries. Food supplies to the 250 million living in hunger generous financial and other assistance to the countries most vulnerable to climate change to enable them to rebuild from natural disasters and to adopt the ever more frequent and more ferocious climate impacts. Such actions is all the more urgent and essential since the external economic environment could become even more hostile if the central banks of the major economies continue to raise interest rates if great power rivalries further constrain trade and investment flows, and if the global economy falls into an extended recession. Excellencies, Pakistan is confident that the Group of 77 in China has the capacity to collectively confront and overcome the mounting external economic challenges and promote more just and equitable international economic order. Our unity is, of course, our greatest asset. This was on full display at COP27. Moreover, unlike the past, today the group has significantly greater capacity for self-help through the ever-enlarging modality of South-South cooperation. Some of our members are now the world's leading economies and offer the model and the market for other developing countries. And we have allies in the global north those who agree with us that the historic approach of exploitative, unequal growth has damaged the global environment, exacerbated poverty, hunger and disease, and triggered conflicts across the world. We must continue to make a common cause with such consent, cons conscientious people, organizations and institutions. I am confident that in 2023, under Cuba's able leadership and the guidance of His Excellency Bruno Rodriguez Perella and the Cuban delegation, the Group of 77 in China will respond actively and boldly to our imposing challenges and grasp all available opportunities to advance our common objectives of achieving the SDGs and environmental goals. I wish Cuba every success in guiding the group during the year towards the realization of our common aspirations for a just international economic, social, and environmental order. Pakistan will extend its full cooperation in this endeavor and will continue to play an active and positive role as a member of the Group of 77 and China. I thank you. remarks the Islamic